3 0 defeat to Enfield at home, Hinch. Uh, disappointing result. What can you say about the performance? Yeah, dis disappointing all round, really. The result, the performance, everything. Um, so, like I say, there's, there's absolutely no excuses. Uh, myself, the players, um, everyone associated uh, with Worthing on the, on the playing and coaching side have got to take the responsibility that um, the backlash that comes with that because that was nowhere near at the level um, that we expected this club. A relatively even first half of them scoring in the 42nd minute. How did that change your team talk going in one yeah, nil down I as mean, opposed to going in level? That's don't like to keep blaming how young we are, but it's the naivety that we, we showed. I mean, time and time again we concede in the last 10 minutes of, of the half. And it just changes the complex of the game altogether. If you're not your best, then you come in at nil-nil and you still, you know, got an even kill and still all to play for. Um, that first goal's just massive. Um, but yeah, just didn't deal with the, the corner. You know, disappointing, didn't win the first header and then it's just such a soft goal to concede. I think Joel's got the wrong side. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's disappointing and it does change the, the complexion of the game, but you know, throughout the 90 minutes we was second best all over the pitch. After a really promising away trip up to Brighton City on Tuesday, how disappointing is it not to take that momentum into the day today and put in a good performance? Really, that's so disappointing. I think like in terms of performances, I thought Leverhead was quite good and even Lewis at home. Uh, Dawkins was poor um, for the last half an hour till they scored the, the, the penalty um, you know to make it 2-1 um, but that today was just didn't offer nothing didn't create nothing um, you know I think Clayton's probably coming out with a bit of credit because he saved a couple of one-on-ones uh, first half um, Zach had a good opportunity you know, just for half time that maybe if he scored out against the run of play um, changes the game a little bit but you know, these these moments in the game are, are, are crucial, and you know we're just so naive, and you know it's a bit men against boys got bullied all over the pitch. Didn't win the first ball, didn't win the second ball. Um, they had complete uh, run of our of our pitch um, to do whatever they wanted to do, uh, really. So you know, really disappointed with that more than anything. At the beginning of the year our home form was up, right up there but you know in recent weeks and recent months our home form has suffered. How much of a priority is it to start making this a bit of a fortress and getting points at home for these fans that are coming through the game? Exactly, yeah that's my team's all done there for the game. Um, that's what it's got to become but you know, I don't know whether that added pressure of you know players surely surely you know we both both played that you thrive in front of big crowds and that's what you want to be playing in front of so um, whether that's why they're down on them or not but like I say the, the fans are brilliant here they don't get um, on on at the players at all even if they make some mistakes um, you know ultimately all any fan wants to see is you know hard work and, and effort and it didn't look like we had that today there's too many that were you know just putting in a, a token effort in my opinion um, nowhere near it in terms of effort um, and desire and commitment um, and you know you had that to being poor on the ball and not offering nothing it, it's a bad combination um, and we can't have that too many times. Looking forward we go to Merston on Wednesday an opportunity to put that right uh, you must be excited to to get this out of the way and look forward to the next game. Yeah you don't know what set of lads are going to turn up because if they the lads that turn up Tuesday night at Brighton and see then um, we feel we've got a real chance, but like I say, the biggest disappointment not to gain the momentum that you got from that result and that performance. Um, it was an excellent away performance, um, you know, it was really, really solid. We was winning some medals, we was winning some second balls and, you know, we looked to threat going another way, but complete opposite today. I know you're not looking for excuses, but we still do have a long injury list. Um, is there any news on that? I know you don't really want to touch on it too much, no, but anyone yes. coming back available that might be ready um, for Wednesday? Not for, not for Wednesday, but yeah, no, I don't want to. That's not an excuse. The players out there were the same ones, apart from one. You know, Alex Parsons was the only change for David Edgeboy um, from the team that done so well on Tuesday night. So there's no no excuses there. They're, they're good enough to compete and do it at this level. It's just now a matter of becoming consistent with it. Um, and that's the disappointing thing. Um, and maybe 
what you don't get with such a young group, but you know, we've got to learn to become that. Thanks, Inch. We'll see you Wednesday. Cheers.